Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday or whatever day this is for you. I hope you are doing well, and if not, maybe this will help give you some self-care day ideas. This Sunday, I woke up after a week that ended pretty rough due to some unexpected events. I just didn't want to do anything, not even bullet journal, and that's when I know something's off and I need some self-care. One of the first things I do is make a healthy latte, and this is my pumpkin spice latte. I start by warming up one cup black coffee, and another cup I'll mix a fourth cup Nut Pods cookie butter creamer with half cup unsweet vanilla almond milk. I warm that mixture up for a minute and add in some pumpkin spice seasoning and cinnamon. No fancy coffee machines here, just the Froth Blast frother, which I'll link below. This coffee, it just makes me warm inside, and the crazy amount of froth always gets on my nose whenever I drink it. It makes me giggle, which is just what I need, and I'll take some time and just continue to relax and ease into my day. Next, I want to eat something that I know is going to be super nourishing for my body, and this fall apple smoothie is one of my fall favorites. I'll add the recipe here and in the description box below, but... This is super delicious and just a great way to give your body everything that it needs. It's perfect for a self-care day and it keeps you full until your next meal. Now I'm going to spend some time drinking that smoothie and read by the fireplace. I love to turn our fireplace on in the fall and I love how incredibly cozy it feels. Just getting some time to read a book I love and unplug from the digital world, that can be exactly what you need. So now I'm going to take a shower, and even though it's not my normal hair wash day, I make an exception. I choose to enjoy the shower, to shave, fully massage my scalp, and then do the rest of my skincare routine. Normally I blow dry my hair, but I wanted to take it slow today, and I just let it air dry rather than feel brushed. I like to make a crockpot meal on self-care days. This is a quick, easy beef stew. It's going to be so comforting to eat later, and it's going to be one less thing I need to worry about getting done later as a mom. Now we're off to church where I'm going to sing worship all the way there and back. It's just a great way to get my heart aligned with what my true priorities really should be. Once back at home, I'm going to use this teapot I got from Amazon. It's so cute to brew a whole pot of pumpkin spice tea. I can sip on it throughout the day. I'll make a quick nourishing lunch, which I just threw together a veggie burger, spinach, I'll couple it with some cold cucumbers. And then finally, I'm gonna mix up some froth for my pumpkin spice tea to drink with my meal and finally top my meal with some feta cheese and pepita seeds. Continuing with self-care, I'm going to let the natural light in my bedroom eat my lunch while enjoying the company of a movie, ironically The Hunger Games, and I choose to watch movies sometimes in parts and not full sittings. Does anyone else do this? Let me know. So now it's time to prep a healthy snack that I can eat later. I like doing this on self-care days so when I'm tired, I have something nutritious to reach for later. We actually went to the store to get some fresh bread to go with our dinner and there was a sample of pumpkin spice hummus, but they were sold out completely so I decided to try to make my own. I'll put the recipe here in the description box below and also on my Instagram, but let me know if you have a recipe for this that you love. Leave it in the comments below so I can try it. I didn't want to add a lot of sugar, so it's sweetened with some swerve, pumpkin, and applesauce, but it might taste a little bit better with some maple syrup. I'm not sure. I pair it with some graham crackers, and it's delicious, and later on, I couple it with some vanilla to good yogurt. Next, on self-care days, I always try to get some time outside, and today I'm going for a walk with one of my daughters and our dog. I'm really just trying to enjoy being present, enjoying the beautiful nature all around me, it's fall, and also exploring a little bit with her as she shows me some places I've never seen before and some of the things that she loves to do. Are you supposed to do that? Sometimes it's just nice to feel like a kid again. After our walk, we get home and it's time for dinner. And I am so happy that I took that five minutes to make the crock pot beef stew earlier along with the pumpkin spice tea, which now is an iced tea. I can easily feed my family and enjoy talking to both my girls during dinner. If 
forgot to mention earlier, I threw in a load of laundry that I knew would be simple to fold later like towels and blankets. So after dinner, the dryer was done and I'm just folding that now. Nothing complicated, but it helps keep the laundry at bay. As part of self-care, you want to pamper yourself, but being a busy mom, it can be hard to find time. So here, I'm choosing to do it with my daughter. It's nice to spend some time pampering yourselves together and also just laughing together. It's so good for your soul. So now while I wait, I'll close the blinds. I'll start to dim the lighting in the room and spend some additional time doing some reading or journaling. For the end portion of my day, I'm going to take a nice, warm, cozy bath, making sure to light some candles and make the atmosphere super relaxing. Even if you don't have a fancy bathtub, candles always help. I love adding some bath salts to the water, and then I just want to make sure I'm exfoliating my skin before and during my bath. Once my bath is done, I apply a hydrating lotion and it helps to keep my skin hydrated and super nourished. And as predicted earlier, I'm a little hungry so I'll have this healthy snack I prepped earlier, my pumpkin spice hummus with some vanilla to good yogurt, and my protein graham crackers to dip. I can't stop reading this book so I'm just going to read that while enjoying my snack. And last, I just make sure to get a good night's sleep. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit the like button if you like this video or comment below with any questions or content you want to see. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.